Hi guys! This is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new video. It's another Let's Try It. Yes, it's another bracelet, but we haven't done this one on the channel yet. This one is the two row one. The ones we've done before are just the one row, so you can see this is an extra row. And the reason I want to do that is I want it to go with this pretty necklace that I made for my aunt's 97th birthday. And as you can see, it has a magnetic clasp. Apparently there's a magnet right there. So, yeah. And I did order this kind of yarn, but it's not in yet. So we're going to be using this yarn. This is, um... It's size 3 crochet thread fashion yarn. Um, I can't remember the name of the brand, but I'll put it here. So, I think that's really pretty. And that necklace took me forever to make. So anyway, I have my yarn, I have my hook. So the first thing we need to do before we get the yarn and the hook is to get some beads on here. So what I need to do is move my computer back and get into position. So, I've got my little cat. Hello. She's going to go over here. And I've got my extra blanket that I'm going to roll up and put in my lap. Just to bring it higher so that my... I want it this like almost the same level as my little lap desk here. So that if the beads roll off, they won't go far. Just just like I do for diamond painting, see? I'm just tucking that in so it's level instead of having a drop. But you don't need to see me just do that. And I've got my Timu beads here. There should be one more pack like this. Where did I put, where did I put them? I had one more pack just like this. And they're not in the bag. Because it was the pack that I'd already opened. But that's okay. They're all the same and I can just open this one. I don't know what I... They must have just fallen off in the container where I hold them. So I was up till really late last night, you guys. So I'm just going to open this new pack. They're exactly the same. Let me just grab the necklace again and show you. They're the same size, everything. So I'm just going to count out some beads for this and put them on my sticky pad. I don't normally need my, my glasses to crochet, but I don't normally use little beads and thin thread, so. But I don't have the muscle memory yet to get my glasses out when I start with this. So I know these are more fall light colors than spring light colors, but this color looks the nicest. Like the yellow is really pretty, but it doesn't contrast enough. And my aunt is 97 years old. So I wanted something that was pretty and that would contrast so it would show up. Now, I don't know if she'll even wear these or if she'll like it, but you know what? I, well, I think she'll like it, but I don't know if she'll be able to wear them. Like if she'll want to. She doesn't really go anywhere. But she does get dressed every day. She does her hair and her makeup, so... Maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to order some more of these little beads. I really like them. It is so hard. To find where the hole is when you're a klutz like me. Seven only. The video. Oh. So this sap pattern is by someone called Loop on Hook. Loop on Hook. And I have done this pattern before. You've seen the blue bracelet. 
that I did with the pony beads. I probably could have got away with alternating the brown and the red, the uh, orange and the red. I think I've got all the orange ones out of this bag and I don't have enough. It's a shame that I don't know what I did with the other bag. But I was up till 4.30 last night and I must have just put it somewhere where I could easily find it today instead of going back into the main bag. And God knows where I put it, but we're just going to open this one up now. And I have another one just like this that is open somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my gosh. They really, they only gave me that many orange ones in this bag. Seriously? There's lots of purple, which is good because I have to make a bracelet for my cousin Kelly. And her favorite color is purple. Actually, the beads don't have to go all the way around the bracelet. They don't in the necklace. The beads could just go on the front and then do a loop around the back. No, I'm going to need more, I think. Um, okay, hang on, you guys. I'm going to have to put this down and hopefully not lose all my beads. And I'm going to get up and see where my beads are. Okay, guys, so I am back. We are working on a crochet bracelet by Loop on Hook. And um, I'm not sure what happened. Where I left off is where I had to go get extra beads. And I got the extra beads and I put them on. And then my camera stopped recording, so I don't know what happened there. But anyway, I do have all the beads on here. Excuse my hair. I shed worse than a Labrador Retriever. Anyway, so there's all the beads that we have. And now the beginning part of this is the same as we did for the other one. I think I'd like to get a little bit closer to the beads. All right. So I've got the bead end facing me and the yarn end facing near the computer. And now I've got to tilt this camera down. See, there's the beads. And this is the yarn that attaches to the ball of yarn over here. I'm just going to get some extra. And let's see how many we need to do. One, two, I would say three for the turn, maybe. Or will I need four? Definitely won't need four. And single crochet, three, okay. So it's gonna go chain three and then two, because you have to adapt it for the size of yarn you're using or thread and the size of beads you're using. So basically what the pattern is telling you is to make a chain length that can easily wrap around the bead and then secure it with a single crochet. And then you just bring up another bead and do a single crochet like that and you go all the way to the end of your beads and then you go three around the corner and then you go the exact same thing along the back and that's usually where I stop and, and it might actually have to be where we stop today so it won't be this whole pattern because this pattern is the same the pattern that we're working on now by loop on hook is the same as the other pattern that we've done on the channel but it has one more row and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do the one more row. So let's keep going. I've got my blanket here. If I do this, can you guys see okay? So yeah, I love this yarn. Um, I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. It's a crochet thread. Aunt Lydia, that's the name of it. It's Aunt Lydia's crochet thread, but it's not fit size tan, which is what I normally get. Um, the size 10 is good for doing doilies. This is a little bit bigger. It's size 3, so it's still small. It's still considered a thread. And it's called Fashion 3, so I think people use this to make little t-shirts and 
not t-shirts, but like little tops. One, two, but it's very nice. I like it. It's a beautiful yarn. It's way nicer than working with the thicker crochet cotton. It doesn't um, break. Like when I work with the thicker cotton that you usually use for dishcloths, it, it shreds. And this holds its shape a lot nicer. And it makes it a lot easier if you don't have a lot of room between the beads and the drawing up the bead part. It makes it go a lot faster. And I made that mistake in the last uh, video that we did. I had a long line and I really regretted it. See how much easier it is when you're close? So these are really nice patterns. Now I don't know if the ladies who put these on their tutorials invented the pattern or whether they found the pattern like free somewhere and they just did the tutorial. They don't, they don't say. But whoever uh, designed this pattern, kudos to them. Simple and beautiful. Look how nice that's coming out. I was holding it too high. I'm so used to holding it high to show you. these go fast these are a really nice last minute gift everyone that's seen them so far has really loved them and you can use any sided bead any size really like except for the really small ones i mean you could still do that but it would change the look but you could experiment But so far, this whole thing is just chain stitch and single crochet. It couldn't be easier. And I need more thread. It's getting too tight. One, two, one, two, one. Two. Actually, before I add those two, it's getting pretty long. I better measure it on my arm because my aunt definitely does not have a bigger wrist than me. No, I'm going to definitely need those two for me, but it's really hard when you don't know how big someone's arm is or wrist is, I should say. One, 
one, two. That's why so many of these have the adjustable loop that you can adjust it yourself. I could do that, but I don't think my aunt would be able to do that. I was going to use the magnetic loop. Okay, so I am at the end of this. And yeah, that's all right. So now I need to chain three. One, two, three, and go around the corner. Well, it's not that it's a corner. And now we're just crocheting into this chain one space doing a not chain one single crochet we're single crocheting in the middle of the uh, the last single crochet and sometimes the first one is a little bit wobbly but that's okay because you can secure it when you sew it in this is much faster than the necklace I did last night mind you to be fair if I wouldn't have been exhausted doing the necklace I would have done it in half the time my brain just wasn't working yesterday I I did too much. Painting um, is actually fun but exhausting. It takes a lot out of you and I painted all day and then I realized I had to get something done. So my poor brain was just out of it yesterday when I was doing that necklace but it came out really pretty and I'll do it again. If the video is really bad then I'll do it again with when I'm not so tired. One, two. Single crochet. One, two. Single crochet. One, two. Single crochet. Aren't these great? One, two. Single crochet. I really like this style. It's like the boho style. It reminds me of the 70s. And Even, even these colors remind me of the 70s, eh? One, two. I can't wait till my yarn comes in, but after I order the yarn, I, um, the, not the yarn, but this kind of crochet cotton, and uh, I wanted the yellow, like a butter yellow, and I wanted a black and a white, and I got a pink, and I got like a coppery color, like, like this almost. Because they don't have those colors in my Michaels and Walmart doesn't carry them. So I ordered those from a website online. And then I and they were on sale. They're usually $5.99 or $6.99 in town. And like three for $15.99 on Amazon. And you can't mix and match the colors. So they want you to buy three of the same color. And I don't need three of the same color. So Amazon was out. And Michaels didn't have all the colors I wanted. I still will get some at Michaels. I got this one that I'm using here at Michaels. But um, I did definitely want the yellow. And Michaels didn't have a real white. They just had like an off-white, very similar to this bone color. One, two. So yeah. But anyway, after I put the order, and it was really good deal. They were on sale for, I think, two thirty nine dollars for uh, like a ball like the one I'm using here. Or two sixty nine. But I had to pay for shipping. So by the time I paid for shipping, it came out to what I would have paid at Michael's for the same thing. But I don't mind paying exactly the same price. Um, I would have minded paying the same price and shipping on top of that. I wouldn't have done that. But anyway, after I put the order and I got a message saying they take two weeks to fill the orders, like just two weeks just to prepare the order before they send it out for shipping. So, and it's a, it's, um, I think it's in Canada or the United States. Like it's not coming from China or anything. So I thought that was odd. 
So to me, it sounds like they're ordering from a wholesaler. When when we order, I think they probably order and then ship it to us that way, maybe. Like drop shipping. One, two, three. And now we have to secure it in the behind here. With a slip stitch. And here we have it. Let's see how big it is. It's really, really pretty. I really like it. And I don't know which side the front is, which side's the back. They both look the same to me. That's how it's going to look on. Now, I could stop there. Maybe I should. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.52 p.m. Here's how they would look together. Sorry about the mess with my computer and everything. But I, I kind of wanted to do the next layer. So let's see. Let's fast forward. I realize you can't see the computer, but I'm just looking to see what the next thing is. Half double crochet. Okay. Insert the hook through the string and do single crochets. Okay, so insert the hook. I'm gonna have to make this bigger, you guys. I can't see that. Two single crochets. Yeah, but I know two single crochet, but where did you insert the hook? Oh, did she just chain two? Did she chain two? One, okay, no, okay, that's where I am. That's where I am. Chain two. Chain two, okay. <laughs> she did chain two. One, two, all right. I hate the music in the background. Insert the hook. Insert Okay, so she's not going into the actual stitch. She's just going into the chain, the chain space. So two single crochet. So I'm uh, sorry, I'm too low. There's one single crochet. Two. So she was just going in the chain space. Let's see what else. Probably half double crochet, right? Half double crochet. Yeah. Half double crochet is like when you're making a double crochet, but instead of making a double crochet, you just draw it through all the loops. One single crochet. How many half double crochets did she do? I wish, I wish they had it written on the bottom. I, I really need the writing. Okay, there's one half double crochet. One. Please don't put music. One single crochet. Okay, I, I guess just one. Just one. She said one. And now one single crochet. One single crochet. Go to the next space. So basically, single crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet, right? Go to the next space and do what? Single crochet. Yeah. All right. I'm going to bring you down now. So this, and you know, I could do my own. I don't have to follow it. I could do whatever I want. I could put as many half double crochet or single crochet and make it more bumpy or bigger or smaller, but I want to follow it. So single crochet... Half double crochet, single crochet. Wait, I don't think I did that right. Single crochet. Am I on camera? I hope I'm on camera. Half double crochet, 
single crochet. Single crochet. Half double crochet. I'm just going to do the single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet all the way around, and I'll come back when I'm done and show you what it's like, okay? Or maybe you could just watch and I'll fast forward it if you want. Alexa, do you have a notification? One new notification from Amazon Shopping. A shipment has arrived, oh. including earring making kit. Ah, oh, man, the earring backings came in. I could have made matching earrings. All right, guys, we are coming to the end of my single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet. Half double crochet, single crochet. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera because the camera is so close to my working area. But you can see the difference it makes. It makes it pretty. Here it's more plain. It depends on what kind of look you're going for. I mean, it's certainly much easier to make the normal way where it's just the beads are more of a focus. In this way, the crochet is equally a, fo a focus. Did I have double crochet that? I lost track. No, I didn't. So instead of half double crochet, so you could do like a double crochet and get a more pronounced bump. Uh, I thought about doing that, but a half double crochet is a faster fix, and I am in a hurry because my mom wants to leave, and I'm not on the list to go visit my aunts. I can't just bring it to her myself. See, tomorrow is her birthday, so I thought I had one more day, but they told me last night that they're going today instead, so they didn't give me any like, my mom told me last night around 10 o'clock at night that they were going to visit my aunt today instead of the 31st. So they didn't give me any chance. I mean, I could have done it sooner, but I was working on that painting. And had I known that they were going a day earlier, I would have taken a break from the painting. And I'm just going to join with the slip stitch. And I'm going to fasten off. And try to get the knot out of this other end. Am I on the camera? My goodness, there's a lot of big trucks going by. And so I don't need that long of an end. Hang on. So now I need a magnetic close. So I'm going to go with another gold one. What's nice about these things is there's hardly anything to sew in. There's just two ends, which is really nice. So I'm just going to take this and bring it so it's through the outer one. Can you see? And I'm just going to bead one end of the magnetic clasp through. 
and just sew it on. And then I want to try to go through one more time if I can. And through it again. That's on there good. So now I just have to hide these ends. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just so trying to sew the ends in. These um needles are kind of hard to use because they're so f they're flexible. They're not stiff. So normally, if I wasn't in a hurry, I would switch to my real my regular darning needle. At this point. And I'm just going around that way. And now I am just going to go through the beads. Just go through one bead this way. And I went over to the side. And now I'm just coming through this beat too. If I can get it through, I don't think I can. No, it's not. Uh oh. And I'm just going to cut it. I really sew in the ends probably more than I need to. Because in the past I've not sewn the ends as much as I should. And I've ruined an entire thing like a long time ago when I first started out. But when you're taking all that time, you don't want to ruin anything, you know? So I'm just doing the same thing on this side. I'm just going to go through this uh, end piece twice. And now I just have to sew it in and hide it. Okay, I can't get through that bead at all. These are not fun needles to use. But they're the only ones that fit through the beads. Like I've got the really long beading needle. You can see this needle's getting all bent. So if you guys work with beads and crochet, what kind of needle do you use? Is there just a needle that I don't know about that will fit through these beads, but also crochet okay? And done. All right. So here we have the finished bracelet. And you can put it on this way or this way. You could decide which side you like better for the front. 
and let me just move my computer and I'm just going to grab a blue pillow because it shows better on the blue pillow. Hang on a second. Let me just get organized, you guys. I've got so many pillows here. It's crazy. So there's the bracelet. And here's the necklace. And I just got a notification that I had to save my video because it was exceeding the uh, amount of time I'm allowed to do a video. It was at 40 minutes, which doesn't make sense because I've done a video for over an hour before. But anyway, here we go. We have our crocheted bracelet and necklace. And this is for my aunt's 97th birthday. And this is Kathy from the future in editing. This is how I boxed it up for my aunt. And my parents brought it to her. And here is my Auntie Erna on her 97th birthday calling me to thank me for the beautiful um, jewelry. And she's also holding the little Queen Elizabeth doll that I made for her. She is so sweet. Anyway, let's go back to the regularly scheduled video. I hope you like this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All those good things. Thank you for spending time with me. All right, guys. Take care and stay safe. Bye for now. Happy crafting. Bye.